We're finally doing it. We've dwelled long enough on this one. <laughs> of all the, uh, what, six votes cast? It was like four to two Origins. Yeah. Many picks for Origins. So we'll just get this out of the way. I want to be as gentle as possible. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at wow. that. Nissa right on top. Obviously, flip planeswalkers. Are the draw of this set. So how does that work? So these are the backs of the five planeswalkers. And I'm gonna do this while I get the rest of the deck situated. Oh wow. Of course, this would be the prodigy on the other side, yep. And little old Kithion. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. So at the back here, we're going to start with lands, and then it goes right into mythics and then rares. That is convenient. I just want to find the green uncommons because there it is. Dwinnin's Elite is one of the best cards in the set. Just want to talk about that one. It's used in Elves, Modern. It's used in a couple Legacy decks. Oh, the lands, they look so good. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna blitz through the Uncommons and Commons last, but I wanna take my time with some of these rares. Okay, so obviously we have Kithion, who flips to Gideon. And we have a Vryn's Prodigy who turns into Telepath Unbound. Liliana Defiant comes from Heretical Healer. Chandra Roaring Flame flips from Fire of Kaladesh. And the gorgeous Nyssa flips from the Vastwood Seer. And I could talk endlessly about these cards especially, but I won't. I promise my wife we will speed it up. <laughs> Okay, so starting from the back, a Soul Blade Jin, a Mizium Meddler, Jace's Sanctum, Harbinger of the Tides, Displacement Wave, Al Hamaret. They were doing Amonkhet before Amonkhet was even out, and now we're white, a Vryn Wing Mare, a Tragic Arrogance. Sigil of the Empty Throne. Relic Seeker. Kithion's Irregulars. Oh, I've been told not to flip them down, so I'm sorry. <laughs> They're magic cards. I'm just excited. I know. I know. Knight of the White Orchid. <clears throat> I had a white Agar deck back in the day. Four of. These are exciting. They're really pretty. So I think the plan for these, since I opened them, is complete set binder. There's the forest. So we have three more whites. Okay. I don't know, just two forests chilling in the back. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh sorry, I'm flipping them again. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not flip them down, though? Oh. Look at that. Gorgeous. This will go into Crane's binder. Oh yeah, I, I've been uh, staining the basement, so I have some residue. Concrete staining. Concrete staining, indeed. I've been sick, so well, why not make myself useful? <laughs> Gently. One of these days I'll get some, oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these lands. Glorious. Oh, I can do the little light changing, oh. <laughs> 
How do you feel about the complete domination of mono red right now? Cute cream. <laughs> I got the look like you're not going to do that to me right now at 10.30. Ooh, Pyromancer's Goggles. Here we go. We got some Mythics. This card is so good if it didn't cost five mana. Alhamaret's Archive. EDH Playable for sure. A Woodland Bellower. The Great Aurora. Oh, they're so pretty. Clear these basics. Uh oh. It's okay. Problem solved. <clears throat> Disciple of the Ring, Demonic Pact, Erebus' Titan. What would you say? Avaricious? I'm thinking Avaricious. Day's Undoing. Oh, the gorgeous Starfield of Nyx. Look at that one. Archangel, Archangel. White Weenies. Yep. You have a Maya Coast. I like that one. Mm-hmm. Shivan Reef. You'll see all the reprints of these. Um... Oh, shoot. What was the original printing of these? Shadowmoor? It was the Lorwyn block. I think it was Shadowmoor. Could be way off, but the wastes, the caves, the forge. Sort of animist. That's a good card. Look at these. I'm keeping these lands here for as long as possible. <laughs> I'm obsessed with lands, what can I say? The Hangerback Walker, yes! This is Revelation. Hangerback Walker, so good. So bad for the format, but so good. Man, the art. Look at these. It's went in. Gotta love legendary elves. Guy's revenge can't be countered. An 8-5 that can't be countered. That was the nuts and limited. Talent of the Telepath. Thopter Spy Network. A Will Breaker. Love that card. Dark Petition. Classic. Despoiler of Souls. <clears throat> Guiltleaf Winnower. That's a card. Graveblade Marauder. Infinite Obliteration. I'm going all out of order, but I'm just, look at these. I need to sleeve these as soon as possible. I guess I'll do that while watching World Cup reruns. <laughs> Animus Awakening. Scarab Clan Berserker. Pia and Karen Nalar. Goblin Pile Driver, there it is. Oh, awesome. It's one of my faves. I have so many copies of this card. Legacy Goblins. Modern Red Aggro. It's good in so many things. And if Chain Warlord doesn't get banned in Modern, I'm sure someone is going to figure out a nice little Goblin deck. Oh, I need to stop on that card. Look at that art. Mm -hmm. These all have a <clears throat> a slight curl to them, but it's like a a pleasant 
bend. It's not not unreasonable. And the last four rares. Okay. Next, I'm just gonna, like I said, blitz through the uncommons and commons. Starting with the, ooh, careful. Dwinnin's Elite. So here we go. 